Hey guys, Statue Hunter 75 here with an episode of Bags and Boards, Statue Hunter's Bags and Boards, episode 95. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, it's from These are books are from New Comic Book Day, Wednesday, December 11th, and also uh, maybe a couple weeks prior to that too, some pickups, because uh, <clears throat> I don't think I did a video for that week, but let's see what we got just to start. Let's see. I think most recently would be this week some stuff that I got notable stuff um we'll start with uh obviously the the bigger hits um this was the uh first uh Billy Morales um uh Miles Morales's uh kid sister so this kind of got hyped a lot um basically uh this is the cover A to it it's pretty cool art there with the rhino and everything on it. So everyone was trying to get this this week. This was kind of probably the hotter of all the books. Um, sold off the shelves pretty quick. I only got um, I only got one actually. Um, I didn't uh, I didn't pick up more than one copy, unfortunately. Um, but I did happen to get the. Uh, the 2099 or 2020 whatever you want to call it variant uh which is also pretty cool so pretty happy to have that in the collection also picked up a copy of superman 18 really cool cover art i'm not sure who did it um, but this is in this uh superman reveals his secret identity um so i think that is quite a first uh, it's been kind of leading up to that. Also picked up this. Uh, this was Ghost Rider number three. And they made some hype about this because um, it was a first appearance of... Um, I'm trying to remember the... Uh, first appearance of a character named Necrosis. And this is actually the character on the cover here. So this is probably the hot variant to get of this because he's actually on the cover. So that's Necrosis. Um, super stoked. One of my local comic book stores had, I've been searching for this. It's been on eBay. I'm sure you can tell from that sticker price uh, that it's Newberry Comics. I love the tattoos on her. I love this. It's an image number one. I think it'll be hot down the road. I think it'll probably, it might already be optioned, I can't remember, but if so, this is going to be the cover to get. This was the one per store incentive, it's in great condition, very happy to get that in the comp in the collection, in the company, in the collection. Also, this was uh, yeah, another hot variant from this week, this was the black and white um, Red Mother number one. Um, I, it's basically, uh, the, the, the uh, solicitation says, a woman loses her eye after an attack. And through the prosthetic replacement, she sees an entity called Red Mother, who can also see her. So it's kind of creepy. Uh, this was the variant black and white cover art by Jer Jeremy Hahn. Um, it's the retailer thank you edition. And there was supposed to be one per store. Actually, the Newberry Comics I stopped at had two. But I didn't want to grab more than one because they had them for kind of, kind of pricey. $29.99. I mean, I get my 20% off subscriber discount. So I just grabbed the one just to make sure I had a copy of it. Um, on to the regular books. This, um, I'm not a huge uh, Deja Taurus. Uh, I don't even know if I said that right, but I'm not a huge fan of this franchise or this comic. But I am a huge fan of anything Adam Hughes. So this was a really sexy Adam Hughes cover. You can obviously tell that that's Adam Hughes I, just from looking at it. So I picked that up right away just because it was Adam Hughes. We got um, Fallen Angels, number one. This is the first in this. We have Fallen... I'm sorry, number one. Did I say number one? Fallen Angels, number three is right there. Uh, it's the first cameo appearance of a character named Apoth. So, and that is a wicked sick art cover there. I love it with the cherry blossoms falling and the geisha in the background, samurai, whatever you want to call her, with Psylocke. Really cool. Wretches number two, I've just been kind of reading this. There was no major solicitation on this, um, so I just picked it up. Captain America, I just love the 2020 variant cover. 
Thought it was wicked cool with the see-through shield. You see his arm, holographic type shield. Love that. Custom's different. I like it. So I grabbed it. Captain Marvel, another 2020. Some of these 2020 variants, if I like them, I'm grabbing them. I uh, can't remember if anything major happened. Yeah, I think something did major happen in this. Uh, well, maybe not. Let me make sure. Captain Marvel number 13. Um, Vox Supreme revealed UB Vox? What? From Death of the Inhumans 1 merged with Supreme the Supreme Intelligence. I guess that's what happens in this one. This is the regular cover, I believe, the A cover. So it looks really cool with the artwork. So grab that in the variant. Also grab this variant too because it was uh, in Yuk Lee. And uh, oh, Lee in Yuk. I love his uh, art. Very, very cool. So pick that up. And of course, Morbius. This is a. Uh, First appearance of a character as well. I forget the character's name. Um, first appearance of... Uh, first full appearance of Elizabeth. I'm coming to see you, Elizabeth. The Red Fox used to say that all the time at Sanford and Son. This is a big one. I'm having a heart attack. Uh, so this is the first appearance of Elizabeth. And then we got Spider-Verse. Um, pick this one up. Uh, it's the first appearance of X, which is a new villain. Um, Jim Comics made it his key of the week, so I kind of listen to him a lot with his stuff. He's usually kind of right on. So picked up a couple copies of this one because it was the key of the week. And then Dying is Easy. It was a number one from IDW, kind of a weird cover. Just uh, was no major um, solicitation for that. This one, RWBY or Ruby 3. Um, I'm not even really following the story. It's a DC. I'm not major on DC comics, but it's that guy. It's my, my, one of my favorite artists, Stanley Archer and Law. So anything, any covers of his, I pick up. So pick that one up. And of course, cool variant from, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 100. Um, this is the 1 in 25 variant cover by Freddie Williams. I liked it. I thought it looked really cool. So I grabbed this. I actually have a few of the other variants on hold too. Um, which I will I will pick up later. I wish I got the Clayton Crane variant. I don't think I did. Um, that's just a really cool one. I gotta go grab that. I got them held at one of my local comic shops. So that was that stack of books. Let's move on to this stack of books. I believe some of these might be from last week. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Um, no. Lucy Kick, Lucy Clear Redemption 1. Um, it's an image comic. Um, I don't think there was, was there a solicitation on this. Let me check. Bear with me. But I don't think so. It's like a pretty cool werewolf story my buddy was telling me about. So I picked it up. Hmm. No, I don't see any major solicitation on here for this. Nope. So I just uh, like that cover, and it's an issue one, so I grabbed it. Another issue one, this was kind of expensive. I think this was like $9.99. Breathers, Breathers number one, picked up because it's a number one issue. You never know. If they make it, adapt it, then, you know, that book's going to be hot. So it's going to be worth money. So it's number one. First appearance in Necrosis again. This is just the A cover of... Um, what I was showing you guys earlier, the Ghost Rider 3. Uh, Morbius. Morbius number 2. I don't think there was any major... Oh yeah, I'm sorry. First full appearance of Elizabeth. This is one of the variants. Um, so, I just picked it up because it was a variant variant edition. And it's the character's first appearance. Another Spider-Verse. I should put this with the others. To keep them uniform and keep them together. So I got three copies of that Spider-Verse number three. I think it's three of five, too. I don't think it's a three of six. So it's a mini-series. Um, Symbiote Spider-Man. It's just a collect... I've been getting all the connecting covers, so this is one of the connecting covers of the Spider-Family. So I grabbed that. I don't think there was any major thing. Uh, first appearance of Natasha Romanoff as the Black Cat. 
Okay. So that's why I got the A cover. <laughs> Not just because it was a cool Greg Land cover. <laughs> Greg Land right there. There you go. Um, so yeah. Hmm. Oh, more Red Mother goodness. These were other variants that I got. So I picked those up as well. Pretty gruesome and creepy, but it was a variant. There's that eye, you know, that she lost. And there's the regular A cover with the the eye right there. It's weird. <laughs> so might be something of this. Might become something, you know. You never know, actually. So you never know. Let's get on to the past books. Some more stuff that I got. I think I got some of these. At, well, I'll have to look at the books, really, to make sure. Um, Dollhouse 1. Dollhouse Family 2. Dollhouse Family 2 variant cover. So, pick those up. Picked up another one of that, uh, you know, Superman revealing his identity. Another one of that. Another one of this, because they were first appearances. And then while I was at... Um, uh, Paper Asylum. He had a he got a pretty good Star Wars run. I love Boba Fett. I'm huge on the Mandalorian, and it's the first appearance of Boba Fett in pretty nice shape. I I have a first appearance of Boba Fett, but it's not as nice. And this is also a newsstand edition, and it's in really nice shape, much nicer shape than the one that I have. So, wicked cool uh, cover with Denbar, Boba, and Bosk on the cover. Uh, you gotta love that spot. Star Wars Marvel goodness. That's issue number 42. This is issue uh, 81. This is where the story tells of Boba Fett coming out of the, the Sarlacc pit and how he survived it. And that art, I forget who did the art, but it's just magnificent. That looks awesome. With R2-D2, C-3PO, Chewbacca, the Jawas, the big sand barge from the Jawas, Princess Leia... Han Solo with his blaster and Boba Fett and the Millennium Falcon in the background. That That's smoking hot. I love that cover. That's awesome. And this is the first cameo appearance of Yoda in the Shadows. This is Star Wars number 41. I picked up all these Star Wars books from Anthony at Paper Song. Anthony always takes great care of me. He gave me a great deal. Uh, another place that takes good care of me is Counterplay Comics in Burlington. So Paper Song on Cabot Street in Beverly. Anthony, go see him. He's great. And Counterplay Comics, go see Eric. I'm not sponsored by these guys. They're just great comic shops, and uh, the owners take really good care of me. And they're they're just they they find the books that I need. So I asked Eric if he could get a hold of this for me. He happened to come into a small collection and set it aside for me. This is Hulk 258, which is the first appearance of um, Ursa Major and a bunch of the other. There's Ursa Major. There's speculation that he's going to be in the new Black Widow movie. Most likely he will. And then of course you got Crimson Dynamo and all the other the other Soviet super soldiers and stuff like that so this was a huge key coming up for that movie so thank you very much eric for grabbing that for me and of course anthony for all the Star was goodness and then also from eric kind of play i picked up this copy for a great price as well of the pro uh from garth innes i don't know if you recognize it but he's the guy pro is in prostitutes <laughs> pretty good play on words she makes the p <laughs> this is actually from garth innes before he started doing the boys so there's some speculation that maybe they might venture into this as well. It's a pretty crazy story. Um, I'm super excited to have it in my collection. It's a great price. All right, moving on. You guys don't want to see Bags and Boards, even though this is Bags and Boards episode 95. <laughs> Let's see, I got some other key issues I know.